Well, so Elon Musk has now been appointed to the Department of Government Efficiency. Doge, as they call it. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy and Elon Musk are going to run the first ever government agency with a self-destruct button. It exists to eliminate itself. Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy will have full audit authority of the federal government to find waste, to find duplication of costs, to eliminate them, and to expose to the American people how the government has been wasting your money. This is something I'm so excited about. It takes someone like Elon and Vivek that have the public's trust, that have this massive platform to be able to show the waste, publicize the waste, and then be able to cut it. Transparency is the agenda that Trump fought for. The Senate does not believe in transparency. The Senate believes in secret ballots. The Senate believes in black box budgeting. If anybody is against the Department of Government Efficiency like Pocahontas is, they are running a scam. Elizabeth Warren has been very chippy on Twitter saying, oh, you know, Pete Hegseth can't serve because he's a Fox and Friends host. Oh, really? Have you served the military, Elizabeth Warren? Has she? Jack, I don't think she has. Has Elizabeth Warren served the military? I, I, don't, I, I must have missed that in her biography. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Elizabeth Warren says the Office of Government Efficiency is off to a great start with split leadership. Two people to do the work of one person. Yes, this seems really efficient. I mean, at some point, Elizabeth Warren, you should stay out of this one. Have you ever heard of a co-chair? At this point, why do we have a senator from Massachusetts? We could have one senator just do the job to represent Massachusetts. This is a ridiculous thing to say. Why don't we just have that old, that old crow, Markey, represent Massachusetts? Whatever his name is. Is it Markey? I think it is. Mackey, Markey, whatever his name is. The Department of Government Efficiency is one of the most exciting develop, developments and promises made, promises kept by President Donald Trump. He said he was going to empower Elon and empower Vivek. He said he was going to deploy them to the front lines. He said he was going to give them the authority and the capacity to find costs and cut costs. <clears throat> the creation of Doge, again, will be the first federal program whose goal is to eliminate itself. It exists to shrink government, not grow it. This is a profound historic step back to the founders' vision for America. Back to the original intent and the original structure that Madison, Hamilton, and Jay intended. And the Senate is not going to like a lot of this, but too bad. The people are in charge. Do you see this? We are, liber we are liberating the consciousness and the awareness and the visibility of our government to lead a citizen reclamation of what was once ours. Donald Trump was the tip of the spear, and Elon and Vivek are following right after. Then we have Governor Nome at DHS. We have Lee Zeldin at EPA. We've got Elise Stefanik at the UN ambassadorship. We got Tom Homan doing the border czar. I mean, this is a team that is going to swarm DC. And look, you're not going to win every battle. Some of these guys are going to have oppo dropped on them. And you know, look, it, you're going to have a little war of attrition. You don't, you don't storm the beaches of DC and everyone's going to last six months or a year. You just got to get ready for that. Then it's next man up. But there has never been a commanding presence of a unified Avenger force to reclaim D.C. in American history like this with a mandate clearly given from the American people and you couple that with Twitter being liberated, things are changing. You guys are witnessing American history and every day is getting better, one day after the other.